Welcome everyone back to another video on the channel, another Clash of Clans one coming right at you guys. Today we're going to be having a pretty short video just explaining how to beat the 9th Clashiversary challenge. That's right guys, today's video is all about how to beat this challenge. Not too bad, it took me quite a few tries without watching any YouTube videos to actually beat it. There's only two days left to complete this challenge and earn your rewards, so if you have not yet completed the challenge, watch this video completely and then go beat this challenge get your rewards guys let's hop right into it you're going to want to hop right onto the challenge map and put down one regular wizard in the lowest box to get all these skeleton troops out of their boxes you're then going to want to put a couple of the uh wizards in the top left box surrounded by these scatter shots that's going to get as many of those clan castle troops out of the clan castle as possible you then want to move to the left side of the map placing down just a regular wizard. That's going to hopefully drag all of those troops, the skeletons and wizards from the clan castle into that corner. You might have to use a couple of wizards because they will get taken out pretty quickly. You can then use a freeze spell to freeze all those troops, surround those troops with a couple of wizards and party wizards along with one charged wizard and that should hopefully take them all out. You don't want to deal with these troops later on in the round as they will damage your heroes quite a bit and distract them from the main defenses. You can then use three party wizards on each of those archer towers in the bottom. From there you're going to want to look at the central opening in the bottom right hand corner. It is the only opening on the base. You're going to 100% want to attack from there. And if your troops are able to get rid of the gold and elixir storage, perfect. But if not guys, don't worry about it. My troops weren't able to get rid of that elixir storage right away. They kept getting taken out. So again guys, it's not a worry. Your heroes are going to be the ones to most likely take that out again. Don't worry guys. From here you want to use a haste spell so your heroes can jump right into it, followed by an invisibility spell. Put down the Barbarian King and rage him up right away. Put down all the rest of the heroes to follow, but don't worry about raging them. You're going to want to then put a free spell on the central area with the Town Hall. That's going to freeze the Inferno Tower, hopefully a hero, and the Town Hall. From there, you then want to use your Grand Warden ability so that your Grand Warden can protect all of your heroes. Use up the rest of your spells if need be, but if possible, definitely try to keep a heal spell available. Your troops and your heroes are hopefully going to make it through, taking out as many defenses as possible. The biggest defenses to worry about on this map are going to be the scatter shots. They're going to do a crazy damage to your heroes, so if you are able to keep any abilities and spells available, definitely do your best to do so. From here you want to hopefully allow your troops and your heroes to just go right through taking out these towers and defenses. These scatter shots and the archer towers on the right side should be the only ones left. Now luckily I did have my royal champion and he was able to take out the archer towers and the main scatter shots because they were distracted taking out my other heroes. Now here he does get caught in the wind trap along with my grand warden and their pets. This didn't play out well for me, I did get a little unlucky because I didn't get to take those uh, defenses and traps out, but that's no worry because my Archer Queen, who still has her ability, is going to come in and actually save the day. I do have one Archer Tower left on the map, along with two Dark Elixir Collectors, but you guys can see here, I still have pets, I still have my Archer Queen ability, and the Grand Warden. From there, I just decided to activate my Archer Queen ability so I could get those extra troops and try and get these defenses or these Dark Elixir Collectors taken out a little quicker. Saved me an extra second or two, but it didn't really matter in the end because the archers went straight for the wall. As you can see guys, I still had the Archer Queen and I still had the Grand Warden alive. That means that even if there were a few more defenses around the map, I most likely still would have been able to take them out. I was able to beat the map with a minute and 35 seconds left, but you guys might beat it better, you guys might beat it worse. As long as you're able to get that three star, that's what matters. But as always, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I love you guys all so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.